Hey guys, welcome back to Gojira Fan 1954. So what I'm going to be doing today is, um, going to be reacting to Kaiju Spawn, uh, Kaiju Tag Response. And yeah, and you might be wondering, why is your voice kind of like this? Well, kind of, um, I'm sick, but, um, uh, I hope I will f feel better soon. But, yeah, let me, let's get to the video. Annabelle Comes Home is a big win for the Conjuring Universe. It's scary as hell. Annabelle Comes Home. What was the first kaiju film you ever saw? It might have been this weird movie called Gargantua. I don't remember a lot other than it airing on Televicentro. VHS copy of Godzilla. Um, my first kaiju movie I ever saw... Probably I have to say Godzilla 1998, but my Japanese Godzilla movie I ever watched because is it was probably Son of Godzilla and God. I watched that a lot. I actually watched it yesterday, so yeah. Um, yeah. On my TV. King of the Monsters, which I picked up at a local thrift store, oddly enough, because I recognized uh, Raymond Burr. <laughs> Not counting the 2005 King Kong remake, Godzilla vs. Destroy was the very first Godzilla and Kaiju movie that I saw in full. I'm a nice guy, but I'm the Hamlet of the Sumer Amesu. The first Kaiju film that I watched was the Godzilla film by Tristar. As for the first Japanese giant monster film I watched, it was King Kong vs. Godzilla. The 1998 American film, if you want to count that. Otherwise, my first proper Godzilla film was probably Godzilla 2000 Millennium. What was the first piece of Kaiju merchandise you ever owned? 1998 Godzilla Taco Bell toys. The Godzilla 2004 Bandai Creation. Oh, I know that I owned. I don't. I forgot what they're kind of called though. But they're like they look like Funko Pops, and they're like giant monster Godzilla things. Um, I owned Godzilla, and I also owned a Mecha Godzilla after that. Um, but like um, I owned like it kind of looks like a Funko Pop, but it's not because you get to take it out of the box. And I got it from Toys R Us. And I, I think Toys R Us is actually coming back in business. Literally. Bigger. Although I might have had the pack of destruction and destroy all monsters in Melee before that. The chibi female Mudo figurine. In 1992, Bandai Godzilla figure. A few VHSs of both Showa and Heisei films alike. If you had the ability, what sort of kaiju project would you try to get made? Godzilla vs. Gamera. That- Um, I would try to get some... Godzilla vs. Gamera. I know, it's- I want that. I want there to be that. That's why I want him in the MonsterVerse. Or a big budget Godzilla x Gamera x Kong x Ultraman fighting game with lots of famous monsters, and one with better controls or online than the PS4 game, just so it gets better reception in the US. If I had the ability to make a fully licensed Toho film, I would probably push for Hedora vs. Midora. Actually... Maybe a third Hedora movie. Make a nice... Um, I'd actually um, want to make um, a Mechagodzilla trilogy. Um... Like, it's a hit or a trilogy. That or a Guyford movie. Godzilla vs. Ultraman. I'd also really love to see a Godzilla vs. Evangelion movie after being teased with the merchandise. For a new television series that brings back and modernizes Toho's lost television series, Assault Human. As a huge fan of Toho's various television series over the years, I definitely have to go with a Zone Fighter film adaptation with Godzilla, Gigan, King Ghidorah, and all, and maybe even some Final Wars esque reboots of the original monsters. What are your hopes for Godzilla, King of the Monsters? I really just want it to be entertaining and memorable. Godzilla 2014 did its job, made people take Godzilla seriously. Um, I know I already watched it. I already watched it, so this one I don't really gonna say my thoughts. Because I basically just already watched the movie in theaters. And I'm not gonna spoil it. And I have my NECA Godzilla figure with me right now. Um, from King of the Monsters. But my hopes for it before I saw it is 
um, more kaiju action and my hope for it for it also before I saw it was I wanted Godzilla to win and like live and like I again, but it could have been so much more. My hopes for Godzilla King of the Monsters are that the 1959 monster turns out to be Anguirus, or just any kind of Anguirus reference in general. More interesting human characters, and definitely more kaiju action and real fights over kaiju teases. I would also love to see some time set aside for each of the specific kaiju to get to know them better. The much better balance between human scenes and kaiju scenes. It would be nice if they stick with the monsters for more than two minutes at a time. As cliche an opinion as it may be, my main hopes for the new Monsterverse films are definitely more focused on monster action, as that's something I felt the first film shied away from, and more intriguing characters to contribute to the storyline. Overall, I definitely felt the 2014 film was easily forgettable, and I can only hope that this is approved upon within the coming entry. What kaiju do you really like that seems to get overlooked by everyone in the fandom? Kamoebas. Poor Kamoebas only gets used as a thing to be killed and dumped as a corpse somewhere else to rot. He needs more love. Oh, and Skull Turtle. The kaiju that I like. My kaiju that I like. Um. Would have to be. Guy again. Yeah, it would have to be Guy again. Though I like Godzilla, too. Um. Um, and Godzilla. The most is probably Anguirus, but as for overlooked media in general, I'm gonna go with Guyford. I, I freaking love that show. I also like King Caesar. Oh, and I would greatly appreciate it if Toho acknowledged its existence. Bottom line, I just... More Guyford, please. <coughs> Kaiser Ghidorah, since the four-legged Ghidorahs never seem to get as much love as the other Ghidorahs. I also chose Gorosaurus, who's fairly powerful for being such a pure Kaiju. Anything from a salt human, go god man, go green man, and zone fighter, the television monsters are among the most varied collection of Kaiju in Toho's library, and it's a real shame how little of them is seen nowadays. My go-to for favorites is always green man, as you may have been able to tell already. Otherwise, I'd have to say maybe Varan or Monster X. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this watching. Bye.